working in Belarus. Three women have joined forces to defeat the country's long-time leader, Alexander Lukashenko. We'll find out more. They are the main opposition challenging his 26-year rule. Richard Good reports. Three women have spearheaded the Belarus opposition campaign. Their triptych of icons, the peace sign, a heart shape and a clenched fist. They formed their surprise alliance after the male leaders they'd been championing were barred from standing. Two of the three can be seen as coming from inside the country's establishment. Maria Kolesnikova was running the presidential campaign for leading banker Victor Barbarico until he was jailed. Veronika Tsepkalo is the wife of a pro-Russian would-be candidate who fled to Moscow after allegedly being threatened with prosecution. But it's an outsider who's on the ballot paper. Svetlana Tikhonovskaya took over the reins of a popular protest movement after her blogging husband was jailed for taking part in an illegal demonstration. She told Euronews the government crackdown fired up her campaign. You know, our people's eyes just opened and they saw this violence from the side of our power. You know, and just it was very small steps to people to realize that everything should be changed. The team's campaign platform is simple. Free all political prisoners and then hold new elections. And Tikhanovskaya believes time is on their side. Maybe it will not happen, I don't know, in a couple of days. Maybe it will happen in September, October, November. But our people don't want this present anymore. Three other candidates are challenging Lukashenko, but it's Tikhanovskaya who's been drawing the crowds and on her shoulders that opposition hopes lie. Richard Good, Euronews.